So where do I begin? There has been a lot of controversial going around in a bunch of groups that I am in. I'm in a lot of quilting groups. I'm in guilds, quilting guilds. I'm in, you know, different quilting communities. And it seems like anytime someone posts about fabric, there is an argument that goes around of whether you should use shop, quilt shop fabrics or can you use box quilt fabrics and different things like that. So today I want to have a discussion on the topic of fabrics. If it's okay to use box doors or if I should strictly go with quilt shop fabric. So if you want to learn my opinion, please stick around. Hi, I'm Jackie with Jackie Russell Creates Quilts where we talk about everything quilting and sewing. I hope to be able to inspire you to create traditional quilts and some art quilts, whether they're big or they're small. So now let's talk about that fabric. So in the discussions that's been happening is people are downgrading other people and per se judging them if they go and purchase fabric from box stores, and that is like your Dollar Tree, your Dollar Stores, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, or Joann's. Those are your box stores. Then they're saying you should only be quilting with fabric from your quilt shops. And, you know, they say that, you know, it's the quality and all this other stuff. Okay, so here is my opinion. What are you quilting for? What are you designing that quilt for? That will tell me what type of fabric I want to purchase for it. So they say that it's a myth that they used to use used fabrics or garment clothing and that in quilts. So here, from the history of quilts, and I will read it as it says. It says, as a frontier was conquered, living conditions improved. With prosperity and the utilities of more materials, quilts became less aster. The patchwork quilt was a utility quilt. In contrast to the applique quilts, which were for the best of show, your high quality, more elaborate quilt. A particular popular style of quilt in the early days of quilting through the early 1800s. So, you know, this is dating way, way back when. Though there are examples of elaborate patchwork quilts that took enormous amount of time to make, piece quilts were generally the everyday bed cover and designed to be made quickly since even small cloth remnants could be used in patchwork quilts. Every scrap of fabric and usable portions from worn garments were saved and used in patchwork quilts. Peace quilts became the most common type of quilt at this time. So how can we judge someone now for using not as high quality fabric when they were using their old worn bedding, their worn clothing to make quilts at the time? So here is my opinion. Well, first of all, let me go, as you can see, I'm surrounded by lots of quilts. I shop those box store quilts, fabric stores. I'm not afraid to shop at Walmart. I'm not afraid to shop at Joann's or Hobby Lobby. And here is why. This quilt was from my, the, all the fabric 
It was a whole quilt that I purchased the fabric and the pattern from my quilt shop. It was used one season. It got washed and look, it's falling apart. The fabric is, yeah. So my thing is, is how can we judge when the shop, post shop fabrics can be low quality just as well. Here's another quote. All this fabric in here come from Joann's or Hobby Lobby. Every piece of it. This quilt gets used all year round. This quilt has been through multiple, multiple washings. Yes, the white is not per se as white, but it's gotten spilled on. It's been on the ground, it's got dirt, dust, but it is not falling apart. I don't have a hole. I've yet to have to mend this quilt after several years of being used every day and washed several times a year. This quilt right here, the blocks inside are shop or quilt shop fabric. The rest of it's from Joann's and Hobby Lobby, except for this border. You can't tell the difference in the fabric. They feel the same after being washed several times. There is no falling apart on this quilt as of yet, but I can't tell the difference. So this is how I look at my projects when I go to, to figure out what kind of fabric I want to purchase. Is it one that I want to have displayed, not used, a fancy quilt? Or is it one that I want to put in the county fair as a showpiece? Or is it a quilt that I want to be used, that I want to have hanging on my wall so the kids can come and touch it. One that the kids can come and play with, wrap up in. That distinguishes how I pick my fabrics. Most of my quilts, I make to be used, not to be displayed. So, I don't purchase those high-end fabrics. I don't have a problem purchasing and using and recommending you to use box store fabrics. There's nothing wrong with them. They say that they last longer. Do they really? For the amount of I paid for this quilt to be able to use it one season and now I can't use it no more. It's now a display quilt because it's falling apart. How can the box stores be less quality than the shop, quilt shops? So here's my thing. Purchase what you can afford and what you are comfortable in purchasing. If that means going to the box stores, Walmart, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, then go there and purchase your fabric and purchase to make your quilt. Go there and do that. If you want to put it into the county fair, and you want it to be the best of the best of the best, as the society says, then go purchase that top dollar 
quilt shop fabric and make your pattern. But what would you rather your people use that you made that quilt for? You want them to be able to use it. If I gave a quilt to somebody that looks so pristine, so topped out, do you think that they're going to want to use it? They're going to be afraid to use it because they don't want to ruin it, don't want to tear it up, or whatever the case may be. But because I use cheaper fabric, fabric that I can afford so I can be able to create more projects for my family and my friends to enjoy, then they're going to use it more because I can't say it looks cheap or anything. I mean, I can't see how this would look any different by using a more expensive fabric. At the end of the day, it is the amount of love that you put into making them that the recipient is going to see. They don't care how much you spent on the fabric. You know, they don't care if you got your fabric from the dollar store. They don't care that you got your fabric from Hobby Lobby or Joann's or Walmart. They don't care if you get it from the local quilt shop. What they care about is you took the time to create something for them and you thought of them when you were making this project. That's what they're concerned about at the end of the day. And the way I look at it is a finished product or project is better than having all that unfinished product sitting on a shelf because you don't have the money to go and get that expensive fabric. What is your opinion on it? I would like to hear that. I would like to know, you know, what you feel. How do you feel about fabrics? Do you shop from the boxers or do you only shop from the local quilt shop? or online quilt stores. Where do you get your fabric? What makes you decide to purchase that fabric over another type of fabric? I would like to know. Comment below and let me know. I'm, and I'm just curious on how, how people feel on this subject. Because it seems to be a very touchy subject. But I will say, on my channel, I will not judge and there will not be judging allowed for what type of fabric you choose to make your projects with. Because I will be the one right beside you in those box stores getting that fabric for my next quilt, my next project. If you're watching this later on and years down the road go back in my feed in my playlist and look for some projects that came after this video because I'm going to be showing you how you can use Walmart and dollar store fabrics in some projects and then I'm going to compare them with other fabrics so you can see that there's really no difference of what you're using. So if you got some great information out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. And like I said, comment below. Let me know your philosophy, your theory on fabric. And when you purchased your fabric, what does it look like? What, what goes through your mind when you go to the store to purchase fabric? Do you purchase from the box stores or do you only purchase through quilt shops? Let me know. And if you're new here and you want to learn to quilt on a budget with no judgment, please hit that subscribe button. 
and that notification bell so you know the next time I upload a video. Until then, happy quilting, my friends. Thank you.